Innerwear as outerwear? Tacky or just plain common sense to keeping your cool in a sunny island like Singapore? This trend has been around for ages. Hot in the 80s thanks to pop icon Madonna who keeps bringing the look back over and over and over again. Women are now daring to bear more and more and maybe it was seeing Lady Gaga wrestling with Madonna on the Saturday Night Live sofa. Confirmation is just in. Yes, innerwear as outerwear is definitely in again. Already making its comeback in summer 04 and summer 08, it was on the catwalks of Jean-Paul Gaultier, Marc Jacobs, Galliano, Dolce & Gabbana, all this October 2009. So that means be ready to bear more in the coming year in 2010. This trend of wearing what used to be unmentionables as fashion appears to be a growth driver for the women's underwear industry. Just a quick look at, say, Victoria's Secret's pink website provides a good example of bras and panties designed to be a part of an overall fashion look. And at the end of October at the Triumph Boutique at Iron Orchard, we saw in Singapore the lingerie store trying to get ladies to reveal a little more with their newly launched line of visible lingerie, underwear that is made to be seen. But first, Razor TV gives you backstage access to the perfect-looking models to reveal their top secrets on how they improve their not-so-perfect bodies. First, let us introduce our models for today before their pumped-up self. Meet Maria. At 35, 26, and 36, the lady is definitely sultry. Ghana looks like an Icelandic princess with a blonde hair, and she stands at 34.5, 26, 36. Isabel looks slightly more petite, and she weighs in at a 34, 26, 36. Katia is a svelte mother of one at 34.5, 26, and 37. And Anya, very petite, is 34, 26, and 36. Unfortunately, they're a lot taller than the usual Singaporeans, around 1.75 to 1.78 meters, but they too have their model problems, so stay tuned to find out their tips.